Good morning, Lake Lifers. Since we're getting close to the holidays, y'all, Thanksgiving is quickly approaching. And with that, we normally have to make the whole four Christmases things happen. So we normally have to go down to Austin to go visit my parents. When we were living in College Station, we had to come up to Dallas to go see Justin's parents. But my grandma is coming into town to Austin and she has not seen Emmy yet. So we have to make the dreaded tour down to Austin to go see her. So <laughs> Why that sounds terrible? <laughs> it's, it's not terrible, it's just the oh, drive. you're so sweet. It's just the drive, the three hour drive when you have a newborn, y'all, is not the easiest thing in the world. But she's been super happy today. Let's go check on Emmy. Hey, Emmy. Are you ready for your first long car ride? I feel bad, Dad. I'm feeling pretty good, look at her. She's laughing, she's laughing. Are you feeling good? Happy? Yeah. you comfy comfy. Yeah. This is normally like the best time for Emmy because she's normal. She's looking at me. She's normally super talkative, super giggly, babbling. She's always in a good mood in the morning. I feel like she's a lot like her dad. Yeah, I'm a morning guy. This is my morning gal right here. Like this morning, I got up, you were already in the shower. As soon as I walked in the bathroom, you were already talking to me. And I'm like, what? Start a conversation, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. I'm already having deep thoughts at uh, <laughs> 6.30 a.m. Have you told him what we're doing today? Covert operation. I have not. All I've told him is that we're going down to Austin. But you guys have yet to see my parents on film yet. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking, why don't we see OSG's parents? Why don't we see OSG's mom? Because I always talk about them, but you guys never see them. Well, they're city folks. <laughs> <laughs> we're letting the secret out. No, they just don't really like to be on camera that much. My dad, and I don't think my mom either, have ever tried venison or deer or anything that Justin has ever harvested. <laughs> And then I told him, I was like, well, you can't really tell the difference. I'm just gonna make you some and not tell you and you're never gonna know. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We got delicious Eddie Ray's sausage. People probably think we're sponsored by Eddie Ray's. Right. Look at this break time. We're just gonna, we're gonna do something real tasty and easy. Well, the good thing is, is that it doesn't summer even say sausage. deer sausage on it. So be like, hey, we found this really good summer sausage. Yeah, this is, oh, you're right, it doesn't. I don't know what he's gonna, that's the fun of this. We don't know what's gonna happen. We're really not doing it to be mean. We wanna do it so we can get our, my family cultured and. <laughs> cultured in my redneck life. I think he's gonna like it. So let us know down in the comments if you would do this to your family members if they refused to try wild game. Cause you know, it's so delicious. It's good for you. Great minerals, great healthy benefits. Mm -hmm. Let us know down in the comments if you would do it too. We also are bringing this. It's just pie. So I made this yesterday to bring with us. Look at that Dutch apple pie. Dutch. Why is it Dutch? Because it has a streusel on top. It smelled like I was in a Bad Bath & Beyond in the apple section. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, here it comes. Oh, are you gonna smile? Here it comes. Gotta swing that head ah. around. Oh. No, did you say no? Yeah. She's trying to say something. She's leaning in. What you gonna try to tell us, Amy? You want to tell the lake life or something? Uh, she's saying like, subscribe, and uh, leave a nice comment. <laughs> something beautiful. Something poetic, please. <laughs> Yep, we had to stop at the Bucky's because I needed some gas. Justin ran in to get some coffee and some beaver nuggets. He also said that it wasn't very cold today, so I was like, yeah, I don't really need much of a jacket. It's in the 30s. So thank you, Justin, for not telling me that it was this cold. Hey. You get some coffee? I did, I got you some coffee. Well, I was just telling them how you told me earlier, it was not that cold this morning. And what? It's dropping fast. When I went outside this morning, it was nice. It was not windy. It was just a little chilly. But now it's starting to get really cold. Loads of beaver, beaver nuggets. I've never had one of these. And then I got you a chewy pecan praline because I know you like them so much. You know me so well. Thank you, babe. And I got myself a rhino. 
which a rhino is a mixture of a lot of things that aren't very healthy for you. Good, I'm excited about this. Y'all don't know, these are one of my very favorites. I have to get one every time we go to Bucky's. Yep. I love you, honey. I love you too. Bucky's is great too. Love Bucky's. Just simply can't have a road trip without a Bucky stop. Even if it's like 50 miles away, you just have to wait. Yeah, it's kid friendly. I wish Amy was old enough to go uh, say hi to the Mr. Beaver and play with all the toys, but not yet. All right, so, let's get the show on the road. Eat my taco, get to editing something for my channel. Excited to see the fam? You know, I am excited to see the fam. I haven't seen them in, I guess, two months since Emmy was born. About time that we see my parents. I think they're excited to see Emmy too. By the way, across the street here, Another Bucky's in the mist. I couldn't OSG help it. the bathroom break. <laughs> I had to stop. Stop the Bucky's. You know what's amazing is they have so many restrooms in there, yet they're full. Yeah. On the weekends, like all the time. Build it big, and the, the people will come. <laughs> There's a lesson. Yeah, I waited. Smart. I waited like an hour just to go to that Bucky's. See, there you go. Nuggets and toilets. Speaking of nuggets, how's our little? Nugget back here. Doing good. Just sleeping like a little road tripper. I got her a little avocado toy. I don't know if you can see it, but it jingles. It's a little avocado and like the seed, there's little jingles in it. If you had to sum Austin up in one word, the city that you're from, born and raised in, what, what word would you give Austin? Creative. Very creative. It's very thoughtful. There's some other choice words, but we'll just leave it with creative. <laughs> New in the neighborhood. My parents have lived in this house since I was born, a couple months before I was born. It was kind of like our situation with Emmy, how we moved in like three months before she was born. True. I've been here for quite a while. Well, I think your dad's going to want some deer meat in his mouth. We'll find out. I'm super curious to see, see how this reactions. is going to go. Made it. Amy, you're such a good traveler. Yeah. Up in here. Howdy, howdy. Hi. Hi. Hey there, our little angel. Take a look at that one. Oh, oh. Hi, girl. Hi, She's smiling already. Oh, yeah. Look at her. She's so Hi. sleepy. Are you oh, sleepy? She's been sleeping the whole trip. Are you sleepy? Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Eddie Ray's Smokehouse Summer Sausage with cheese and jalapeno. Yeah, looks and delicious. And where's the ingredient? Was it's on the back. So why am I being videotaped? What did we think about that sausage? I like the sausage. I like the peppercorns. You could. I'm glad. Hit the one and I loved it. I think it's delicious. Delicious. Love it. Delicious. That picture too. So the secret is, Dad, you just ate you some deer. You do not have permission to use oh, this on a blog. You just ate deer meat. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I like the peppercorns. So that sausage is delicious. It Justin adds, got. It adds to the the experience. Did it taste like a buck? No. I mean, no, it did not <laughs> taste like a buck. There you go. So you enjoyed your first deer meat. Ah! I enjoyed the peppercorns, yes. Thank you, Stephanie. You're welcome. You do not have permission to use this. <laughs> do not have permission to use this. <laughs> this will lure you out. Oh, man. We'll put a nice big jalapeno in front of you. <laughs> That'll work. Well, it looks like my dad did enjoy the deer meat like I knew that he would. Whether he likes to admit it or not, I knew it, Dad. So I know what Justin and I are going to get in your stocking for Christmas this year. Be looking out for some deer sausage. And what is that over there? What, my honey? That is a white-tailed deer. That is a gorgeous photo. That's where I'm going right now. I'm going back to get a get a deer. Again. That's one you don't want to shoot. He's probably two years old. You know, he's not outside of his years yet on his antlers. But we're going to shoot a doe or a mature buck right there at that spot, though. They're so coming in. So you're going right now to go get another deer. Because 
You know, your dad ate all that deer sausage. He loved it so much. And we're also running low on our supply, so we need to fill that freezer back up. All right, guys, well, we're gonna wrap up this vlog. Let us know down in the comments if you like this. If you have a family member who just refuses to try harvested deer meat or hog meat, so let us know down in the comments what you would do. Y'all, thanks for tuning in today. We hope you're having a very blessed holiday season. Go out there, enjoy the great outdoors, and we'll see you right back here at the tree house. Okay, honey, I must go now to harvest the meats, and it's almost Thanksgiving. Go get a turkey. It's time to go get a turkey too. Bye. I love you. Love you too.